My sentence as a result of being found guilty for second degree murder was 18 years to life. I was devastated. I, I was totally devastated. I broke down and cried when they found me guilty. Just the thought of 18 years was life. That was like game over, life over. There's no other life. And what I thought is you go in with 18 years, you're never coming home. I was sentenced to 20 years to life in prison, but I ended up spending 30 years in prison. I spent 32 years in prison. The first few years in prison for me was kind of like culture shock. There was so much going on in my head at that time and I was kind of scared uh, being in this environment. It is very violent there. You have a, a lot of bullies there. It looked like everybody inside there, mostly everybody that was inside there were on steroids. They tried to uh, manipulate you, uh, tell you what to do. They think that you're weaker than them. They would take advantage of that and use violence to attain that. That, that advantage. I was not trusting of anyone inside there. You gotta associate yourself with the right people there or you're gonna definitely be involved in a lot of mess. You could get lost and you could get caught up into the day-to-day -day activities that take place in prison to where you don't even give yourself an opportunity to begin to look at yourself. I was still using drugs and, and was of the mindset to um, try, you know, to, to, get, uh, to get away with it. Somewhere along the line, as I began to pretty much realize that this is, this is going to be my life, I began to take programs that was offered inside the prison. I went to several colleges on the inside. I started attending college in prison in, in 1993. That's when I really learned about what the drugs was doing, not only what it was doing to me, and what it was doing to my family, and doing to my community. One of the mandated programs, if you had a violent crime, was called Alternative to Violence. That's the rehabilitative, that's the therapeutic part of uh, your sentence. The way that they pretty much operated that program, it was a safe haven. You can cry in there, people can tell personal stories without it, you know, f feeling like it's going to be taken back and spread throughout the prison. So it's kind of like those, 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 those walls come down. I started learning a lot about the, um, about the mind and our way of thinking my way of thinking. I started to resolve a lot of those, 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 those issues within myself. And then as a result of that, I started to take ownership of what I did. When I went in, I didn't care. I didn't care about myself, uh, uh, my family, my, the, 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 my community at large. I didn't care about the, the consequences. Now I know through education what damage that I have really done. And now I'm set out to correct, to, to correct that damage. I found myself in prison, and it's strange to say that when I was in society, I lost myself. I lost my way in society, and, and, and on some level, I was able to re regain my humanity uh, inside prison.